Known as the 2024 problem, the crisis caused by a shortage of truck drivers is set to impact the distribution and construction industries across the country. Have you heard about it? Well, this issue is causing a massive ripple effect in Japan and could completely reshape how the world moves goods. We're talking about a crisis that's already underway, and if no action is taken, it could lead to devastating consequences. This crisis is rooted in two main factors. The first one is truck driver shortage. Fewer and fewer people are willing to spend long hours on the road. The second one is related to the introduction of new labor laws that limit overtime for drivers. It might sound simple, but believe it or not, this is threatening to collapse Japan's entire logistics system. Here are some eye-opening stats. Without a solution, Japan could lose up to 34% of its transport capacity by 2030, according to government estimates. And more than 91% of Japan's transport capacity relies on trucks. Can you imagine the impact on an economy that depends on fast and efficient transportation to keep shelves stocked, markets running, and even exports on schedule. But don't worry, the story doesn't end here. As always, Japan has found a way out. And it's not just any solution, it's something straight out of a sci-fi movie. A futuristic idea that promises to revolutionize the way goods are transported. Curious to find out what it is? Let's dive into how Japan is using cutting-edge technology to tackle this problem and create the future of logistics. A proposed solution involves creating automated highways with autonomous capsules that resemble giant boxes on wheels, moving in a coordinated, driverless flow. This is the core of the project. Dubbed automated flow roads, these lanes will be built in the center of existing highways, forming a dedicated corridor exclusively for these capsules. These autonomous capsules are not conventional trucks. They are designed to operate at about 18 miles per hour, prioritizing safety, energy efficiency, and precision. And the most impressive part, the entire process is automated. From loading to unloading, everything will be handled by robots, autonomous forklifts, and in some cases, drones. The result, fast, efficient freight transport with minimal or no human intervention. These capsules are the heart of automated highways, integrating various advanced technologies to operate efficiently, safely, and autonomously. To understand how autonomous capsules work, we need to explore the key components that make this solution possible. The first component involves advanced sensors for navigation. One key sensor is LiDAR, light detection and ranging. Autonomous capsules use LiDAR to create a 3D map of their surroundings. This technology emits laser pulses that bounce back after hitting objects, enabling the system to pinpoint the exact position of vehicles, obstacles, and the route in real time. For example, LiDAR helps the capsule maintain a safe distance from other capsules and adjust its route in response to traffic changes. It's also critical for operating under adverse conditions, such as low visibility or fog. Other sensors include cameras and radars, which complement LiDAR by providing additional data to identify smaller details like road markings and traffic signs. Together, these sensors create a comprehensive view of the environment, ensuring safe and precise navigation. The second component is artificial intelligence for decision-making. AI acts as the brain of autonomous capsules, processing sensor data in real time. It analyzes information such as traffic flow, weather conditions, and potential obstacles, adjusting the capsule's speed and route to ensure maximum efficiency and safety. Machine learning algorithms further enhance the system by allowing it to improve over time, learning traffic patterns, and optimizing performance. The third component is the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication V2V system. Through the exchange of information between capsules, V2V ensures a coordinated and collision-free flow. For example, when one capsule decelerates, the others are instantly notified to adjust their speeds accordingly. This communication allows the system to operate as a synchronized chain, reducing delays and maximizing highway capacity. The fourth component involves automation in loading and unloading cargo. Autonomous capsules are designed to integrate seamlessly with automated logistics systems. This includes forklift robots, programmed to load and unload capsules with precision, significantly reducing the time required for each operation. They can organize cargo based on priorities, optimizing transportation efficiency, drones. In certain scenarios, drones can be used to transport small loads to and from the capsules, particularly in hard to reach locations. But why did Japan choose this approach? Approach. The answer lies in the country's unique combination of challenges. The driver shortage is only one side of the coin. The other is the limited space available to build new logistical infrastructure. Instead of constructing more highways, the idea was to optimize existing ones by adding a dedicated corridor for these capsules. Moreover, this solution is highly scalable. Starting with an experimental 310-mile stretch between Tokyo and Osaka, the project has the potential to expand across the entire country and possibly be adapted in other
other parts of the world. And here's what makes this idea even more fascinating. It stands apart from other global automated transport solutions. While countries like Switzerland and the UK are investing in underground tunnels or magnetic rails, Japan is betting on something more accessible and practical for the short term. It's an approach that balances technological innovation with economic feasibility. This is the essence of Japan's automated highways, turning a massive logistical challenge into an opportunity to lead the future of transportation. And the most exciting part, this is just the beginning. Now that we understand how the automated highways and autonomous capsules work, it's time to look at the benefits and opportunities this innovation brings. And trust me, there are plenty. The first major benefit is reducing the dependency on human drivers. In Japan, where the driver shortage is critical, this technology addresses a structural problem. Autonomous capsules ensure that goods keep moving regardless of labor availability, making it a game changer for the logistics sector. Another major benefit lies in its environmental impact. The capsules are designed to operate with maximum energy efficiency. By automating transport into a constant flow, without stops or sudden accelerations, energy consumption is optimized and carbon emissions are drastically reduced. This aligns perfectly with global commitments to sustainability and reducing environmental impact. Logistical efficiency also gets a significant boost. Imagine a system where goods are transported uninterrupted, 24-7, without depending on shifts or human breaks. This means faster deliveries, more reliable supply chains, and lower operational costs. Businesses can plan better, and consumers benefit from products that arrive faster and potentially at lower prices. And this model isn't just for Japan. It has the potential to inspire and be replicated in other countries. Nations with large urban centers or limited infrastructure could adapt the concept, creating customized logistical solutions. It's a chance to rethink freight transportation on a global scale. In the end, this solution doesn't just address Japan's local problems, it also serves as a showcase of how technology can transform entire sectors, benefiting economies, businesses, and the planet as a whole. While automated highways and autonomous capsules are fascinating, it's essential to remember that every major innovation comes with significant challenges and risks. Let's explore some of them. First, financial challenges. Implementing infrastructure on this scale requires massive investments. Building automated highways, developing cutting-edge technologies for the capsules, and ensuring the entire system functions seamlessly are complex and expensive tasks. On top of that, there will be ongoing costs for maintenance and technological updates to keep the system safe and efficient over time. Second, technological challenges. Despite impressive advancements, there are still technical issues to address. For instance, how will the capsules handle unforeseen malfunctions or extreme weather conditions? Additionally, cybersecurity is a growing concern. Automated systems are vulnerable to hacking, which could compromise the entire operation. Now let's talk about social challenges. One of the biggest impacts will be on the job market. What will happen to truck drivers who currently rely on this profession to support their families? The transition to an automated system could lead to unemployment and the need for large-scale reskilling, which requires careful planning and government support. And of course, projects like this require massive cooperation between different sectors, public and private, and a long-term vision. Any misalignment could delay or even derail progress. Finally, there's the issue of public acceptance. Many people may be hesitant to trust valuable cargo to machines. It could take time for society, businesses, and even governments to feel comfortable with such a disruptive change. On the topic of acceptance, we must also consider the cultural and social impact of an innovation like this. Japan is a country deeply rooted in tradition and the value of manual work. In many communities, professions like truck driving are more than just jobs. They carry emotional and social significance, symbolizing stability and dedication. The introduction of automated highways with autonomous capsules taking over tasks historically performed by people raises questions about how these changes will be perceived by Japanese society. Will this technology be embraced with enthusiasm as a practical and necessary solution? Or will there be resistance, particularly from older generations who deeply value the human role in work? On the other hand, it's important to remember Japan's unique history of balancing tradition and innovation. This is the country that created humanoid robots to assist the elderly while preserving centuries-old practices like the tea ceremony. This ability to integrate the new without erasing the old could be a crucial advantage in gaining social acceptance for this transformation. Perhaps the most fascinating aspect of this technology is how it reflects the very essence of the Japanese spirit. A 
relentless pursuit of efficiency and improvement, even in the face of great challenges. While honoring traditions, the Japanese continue to show they are unafraid to adapt to the future, and in this case, lead it. The lingering question is, to what extent is Japanese society ready to fully trust machines and relinquish part of the human role in the workforce? Only time will provide that answer. While this technology has the potential to revolutionize logistics, the challenges and risks involved highlight that there's still a long road ahead. That's the beauty of innovation, facing obstacles and finding creative solutions to overcome them. What do you think? Is the world ready to place so much trust in machines? How do you think this shift will impact the future of work and the global economy? Share your thoughts in the comments.